there we go. So next, let's see what else do we have in our agenda. In our agenda, we have um, the automated responses to incoming messages. It means to all messages that you receive, not about comments because comments, we already saw it, not about ads because ads, we already saw it as well. This is for messages that people send directly to your DM or directly to your inbox. So we all know that in business, time is money. Our potential customers are not going to wait for us to wake up, to log in into Facebook or into Instagram or to answer their inquiries. I mean, they want answers immediately. And if they don't get them, they are likely to turn out to our competitors that can provide them fast answers. Not to mention the fact that poor customer interaction and inadequate product discovery support can negatively impact sales. But don't worry, don't worry. This, the solution is not as the doubting and hiding an army of customer support service personnel, like a huge team. I mean, that's not the solution. Instead, we can just tackle these challenges head on by automating responses to frequently asked questions and any kind of incoming increase. With this tool, we can achieve a lot. We can enhance the customer support experience by providing immediate assistance, or we can boost our sales potential by offering personalized product recommendation based on customer queries and preferences. Uh, we can also improve conversion rates by maintaining active customer engagement. We can also, well, strengthen customer trust and satisfaction by providing instant support for any kind of queries or issues that they might have. And last but not least, you can also boost customer retention by providing immediate and personalized support. This way, you are ensuring that your customers are not only heard, but also they are given the information that they need right when they need it. So we also have a, a customer a success story, which is this one. Our client, this is a mobile game developer. They automated answers to incoming messages. Why did they did why did I do that? They did it because they needed to enhance player engagement and effectively re-engage their audience. The company uh, faced some challenges, problems when managing their huge player base for one of its games. Uh, what happened? Well, hundreds of incoming messages in Messenger were unanswered um, due to the lack of resources. They didn't have someone to reply to those incoming messages. So they needed to keep their 2 million people community. Imagine they have a 2 million people community. And let's, let's think that they are sending messages to your page. You're going to get 2 million messages to your inbox. And just in thinking how you can reply to those messages is, is something difficult. That is not difficult for our bots. So they needed to reply to those 2 million people community with the game updates or any kind of announcement that they have. So they turned to Chatfuel to solve the problems. And this way, well, they did, the, what did they do? They implemented a ChatGPT power bot to automatically answer to those incoming messages. They also made sure to send at least two broadcasts per day to the, to, I mean, to get those players back, the people that didn't get an answer before, they send the two broadcasts a day to get them back. And also they sent promotional codes through the broadcast. 
This is also as a re-engage activity to get them back to the business. And this strategy turned out to be the most effective strategy for our client to stay in touch with their huge audience and effectively re-engage players. So overall, if you are looking for a tool to provide instant and relevant communication with your audience to increase their commitment and retention, please consider common auto replies features and you can also consider um, this incoming messages, automated responses for incoming messages. So this is the customer story. This was, this was a very successful story. So we are gonna practice right now. For this practice, um, we're gonna learn, uh, I mean, the setting up an automated reply to comments. This is not gonna take much time with Chatfuel and I'm gonna show you how you can do it, okay? And I'm gonna switch again to my bot. Let's switch it here. Mm -hmm. There we go. Process, same. You need to go to your bot, then click in automation, then click in flows. For these flows, we are going to also use an entry point. For Facebook, the entry point is going to be the Facebook page entry point. This is for Facebook. I'm trying to be quick, and then I'm going to show you the Instagram one as well. In Facebook, you can decide if you are going to use frequently asked questions or if you are going to use the get started button. To be honest, the most common one is the get started button. So let's gonna use it here. And I'm going to connect this button to a part of a flow. Let's say it can be to a text and button option for a generic flow, or you can also connect it to chat GPT. Um, it's up to you, but this is the very easy way for you to do it. You can just enable the get started button and turn it on, T turn your entry point on, and then you can set it up something like, hi, first name, uh, let's say, uh, welcome to our page. You will find discounts you will find uh, promotions and um, other, let's say, activities. Please select one of the options. Here, you can add bottoms as well. You can add up to three bottoms. Within those bottoms, you can either continue with a flow, you can add a, a, your phone number, if your business has a phone number, you can add your phone number. If you want to send them to your website, for example, you can also use the URL of your website. Or if you have an appointment uh, tool for um, appointments, you can also use this one, which is the Calendly integration. Um, this is already included in your description, and you can just use it. And then they are going to set up an event here. So this is how you can do that. Or if you just want to add text to continue with the flow, then you can also do that. So this is uh, the Facebook page entry point for all those incoming messages. So this is for Facebook. And um, let's check for Instagram. So I'm going to add an Instagram flow here. And for Instagram, the entry point for incoming messages in Instagram is this one, Instagram direct entry point. So you just need to use this entry point. And if you notice, it is a bit different. Remember that since we are using two different APIs, Facebook API and Instagram API, some options might not be available between those two different APIs. So you can ask frequently asked questions like uh, location, like uh, phone number. Let's see, phone number. You can also use, uh, let's say, 
talk to a person and so on. And from here, you can also redirect to those users to the option that they select. You can also create a generic message for all messages, and you can also add keywords the same or similar than the common auto reply options. You can add keywords like um, price or information or any other kind of keywords. You can also do that and you can also connect it to a part of a flow. So those are the two entry points for those incoming messages, either on Facebook or on Instagram. So we're gonna continue